Hey guys, this is the Jeff Ray back with another Minecraft mod tutorial for you. Today I'll be installing Too Many Items mod for Minecraft 1.6.2 or later. Now, first you're going to have to download it. I'll have a link in the description to this forum page. And first thing you want to know is it says this mod does not require any other mods. So you don't need Mod Loader or Forge for this. Uh, you can use Forge if you want, but then you're going to need to download the Forge version. I will not be uh, showing a tutorial on that, I'm going to be doing the non-forge version. So click 1.6.2 non-forge version or whatever version you're currently on. So if you're in 1.6.3 or 1.7, whatever, go ahead and hit that. So once that's once that's clicked, it'll take you to an ad fly page. You have to wait five seconds, and then you can go ahead and click skip ad, and we'll automatically download for you. Once you've done that, uh, drag it to the desktop if it's a zip file. Uh, you can unzip it if you want, but you're going to have to access the contents inside. Now, I'll tell you guys first here, I'm going to be doing two ways to install too many items. I'll have the first way with the regular Minecraft launcher and the second way with Magic Launcher. So if you just want to watch the Magic Launcher version because you're using Magic Launcher, there should be annotation on the screen now that tells you when to skip ahead. Now, if you want to do the regular Minecraft launcher installation, you can go ahead and keep watching. So first off, to do the regular Minecraft installation, you're going to want to go to your Minecraft folder. So to do that, go to Finder, Go, and then Go to Folder right here. So once you've done that, you're going to need to type in this sequence, the squiggly line, library, application support, Minecraft. Anyways, I'll also have this sequence inside the description below. You can go ahead and copy paste this in to make things easier. After you've done that, click Go. So once you're here, this is your Minecraft folder. You're going to want to find the folder called Versions. And in here, you're going to have all the versions you have created for all your different mods and other things. So you're going to want to duplicate the current vanilla version to install this. So for me, the current version is 1.6.2. If you know you want to mod for another version later on, if you're watching this in the future, go ahead and do it with that version. So we're going to head and duplicate it by doing control click and select duplicate. Now you're going to want to name this to TMI or anything short to remember. Uh, I did TMI for too many items and go ahead and rename it that and open it up. Once you've done this you'll have these three items uh, all called 1.6.2 and you're going to rename each one to TMI except for the jar you can do that later. So first we're going to just want to rename this to .zip. Once you've done that you can just open it up normally and it will turn it into a folder and then you can delete this and open it up. So in this uh, one sec, okay, in this folder you have all your classes. We're going to want to import the too many item classes into the 1.6.2 classes. So you can open it up and here's all your too many items classes. Do command A Command C to copy all of them and go ahead and close that and then click on one of them and do Command V. And then it'll want you to replace things. Go ahead and click replace. And next you're going to have to delete your meta int folder. So the easiest way to find it is do right here sort by kind and it should be at the top. Meta INF, you have to delete it in order for the mod to work. If you don't delete it, it'll give you, it'll crash and give you this error message, something like bad state exit code one so if you get that it means you didn't delete your meta in folder and you need to do that now we're gonna want to compress all these things into an archive.zip so do that do command a to select everything and right click something and do compress 1607 items so once you've clicked that it'll compress them all into one archive.zip you can drag that out and go back to your TMI folder go ahead and delete this and drag in your archive.zip. Now you're going to want to rename it to tmi.jar. So you've successfully installed all the class files. Now you're going to rename this to tmi.json. And also you're going to have to go to the ID by clicking it up, open with text edit, and next to ID I'll say 1.6.2. You want to change that to tmi. And go ahead and save it close it. Now I might have said you have to rename this but you don't. Uh, you can just go ahead and leave that there. It does not matter. At least and go ahead and close it. So now you've created a version called TMI. You're going to want to open up 
your Minecraft launcher, and in here it'll have all these uh, all these profile selections on the side. So I've already created a profile called TMI. Uh, you can you can cr use it on a current profile, or you can just create a new profile like this. Uh, I'll call it um, hmm, I'll call it cool profile. There you go. Uh, in use version right here, collect uh, select T release TMI. So out of all these, TMI is the one you just created. And whoops, I spelled cool. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, go ahead and click Save Profile. And once you're here, go to Profile Selection and do Cool Profile, the one you just created. And then go ahead and click Play. So once you've done that, it should load up normally. Anyways, I'll go ahead and head into my single player world. And let's see if it worked. So this is just regular world. Go ahead and press E to open up your inventory. And look, we have all our too many items sort of menu thing, you can do all these cool stuff, custom enchantments and stuff. Anyways, uh, this was the way to install it normally, hopefully this helped you out. Uh, now next I'm going to be doing uh, the magic launcher. Okay guys, now I'll show you how to install too many items with magic launcher. So first you're going to want to download it, if you already downloaded it. Um, then you want to turn it into a .zip file, so if it's a folder like this already, uh, you have to turn it into a .zip by opening it up, doing uh, Command A, or my yeah Command A, right click and compress 47 items. So once you've done that, it'll turn it into archive.zip. You'll have this at the bottom. Drag it out, and you can delete this if you want. Doesn't matter. But this archive.zip is what you're going to be using. Go ahead and rename it to something you can remember. I'm going to do too many items 1.6.2. That's it. So then hit enter, it'll save the name. Now, first, you're going to want to create a folder on your desktop to store your Magic Launcher mods. I already have one called My MC Mods, but if you don't already have one, I suggest you create a folder. Very simple, just right click, new folder, and rename it whatever you want, and go ahead and store it in that. But since I already have one, I'll just put it in there. Whoa. My MC Mods. And we're going to start up Magic Launcher. So in Magic Launcher, uh, you're going to want to go to Setup. And if you don't already have a configuration, uh, I already created a configuration called Too Many Items. I also have a default one with my other mods. But I already created one. You can just create a new configuration anytime by doing New and then Creating One. And you're also going to have to set Environment right here to 1.6.2. So, or you can just do it right on your default, doesn't matter. But anyways, I already have this Optifine mod already installed on, on Magic Launcher. So you can do more than mods once on Magic Launcher, which is really great. Anyways, uh, if you don't have Optifine already, you could, it'll just like be gone. It'll, it'll just be black here. So next you want to do add, to add your too many items thing. So uh, I'll show you guys how to do it. If you're in your, if it's, the, it's, if it's in the folder, on your desktop that I told you to make, it should be go to desktop and find it my MC mods right here, and or whatever you named your mod folder. Open that up, and it should have all the mods you have created. Anyways, I have too many items 1.6.2 that I just made. Go ahead and select it, click on it. It'll turn blue, and click open. So once it's done that, it'll it'll show you uh, in your little menu thing that it is here. It'll say no mod loader, but if you use mod, lo mod loader, it won't work. Uh, it doesn't need mod loader at all. If I already showed you guys, um, it doesn't require it. So even though it says no mod loader, it's okay. It, it'll still work perfectly. So it w correlates perfectly with Optifine and they work together. So once you have that installed, go ahead and click OK. Make sure your configuration is too many items and then click login. Now once you've done that, you'll have your Minecraft up and running. I'll jump into my single player world. And as you can see, um, if I press E, all my too many items inventory stuff comes up, which is really cool. Uh, too many items is a really cool mod. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. Uh, leave a like uh, so others can see it. And subscribe for other cool Minecraft uh, mod tutorials or 
or other cool Minecraft survival games or whatever I do. Uh, the channel's cool, so yeah, peace.